All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today I want to talk a little bit about rocker arms and they're pretty important. So y'all hang out. All right, so last glimpse of this, you saw me breaking in the camshaft. And after doing that, I uh, finally got to idle it down. It was running pretty rough. And I went ahead and pulled the uh, valve covers just to check out pulled the rocker arms. Everything looked good there, except the pattern that was on the valve itself. So it had actually worn a little line. You can actually mark that one off with a uh, marker. But the, the pattern itself was way, way out here on the tip, um, on the end of the tip rather. I'm sorry, way out there on the end of the tip. Uh, so what I did, um, I traded and put my old rockers back on. Uh, they are uh, these red ones here from Mancini. A couple things I did find out. Uh, one, if you're running a hydraulic cam, it takes different length push rods than a solid lift cam. That's just because the distance inside that lifter is a little bit further in. So the hydraulic push rods from Mancini are 7.39 inches. These are the 7.50 inches push rods I got from my buddy Brian. If y'all saw that video, if you hadn't, go, go back and check it out. His place. I got those. So that'll give me another, what is that, 110 thousandths or something, 111 thousandths. And then these are the rocker adjusting screws from Crane 99802. So basically what they're going to do is add me a little bit of length as well. And they'll screw into the rocker here. So from what I found out and what Brian and I talked about, he said, you know, they, they make two different lengths of these. Hopefully you can see the difference here. Uh, they are, I think, 400 thousandths longer with this adjuster versus that, that smaller adjuster. So I got new adjusters, new nuts. That'll go into these rockers and they'll go into the engine. Here's where I messed up. Okay, so that the previous video when I was installing this stuff, um, you saw me using rocker shims that look like that. Well, in order for my tip, which apparently I was wrong, um, a, a, for it to move into center line, I was adding shims. I got to like a hundred thousandths worth of shims and I just have to kept building that pedestal up. And I bolted them on. I checked it. I think it was good. Ran the engine. It's not good. Here's why. So let me show you here real quick. So here's a little bit of crude science for you. This will be the end of my valve stem right here, where I need that to the end of the rocker arm to ride on. So what I was effectively doing was raising this by adding shims here. And in theory, it works. Right, the further it goes up, the further inside that moves. In conjunction, it would be like the further it goes away, the further it goes out on the tip there. So to get that right relationship, I was adding shims, adding shims. I don't think it actually worked in this scenario. One, because I don't think the relationship between the pedestal and the head's deck are actually where they need to be. So Here's one way, if it's leaning, so let me pull this back up. We'll say if that's perfect, the pedestal is leaning in, it's gonna change things like that. So now this is actually leaning that way, it's got an angle in. And if it was here, right? If my stem was already on the outside of that valve tip, what I was doing was raising it even further so as it stays at that same angle and it raises further, it keeps going further and further out. Now, one way I could correct this, if I had a lash cap, so here's an example of a lash cap, not really, but for our purposes, here's a lash cap. If I put my lash cap on here, now it's raising the tip of the valve. So that would be what, what we were talking about, that would be the poor man's way of doing that. 
not really right. If you run uh, lash caps, it's for different reasons. So my stems would not even accept the lash cap because they've been ground or they're too short or something. I don't know. So this being the more correct size here, let me show you. So this being the long stem that works nicely with those rockers, here's what I got. Move her on in. That's where I am, right? Just like that with the comp rockers. With my other rockers, I bolted them back onto this engine. That's what I used to have on here and ran 6,500 RPM all day. They go to the center. So the only thing I can think of is the distance from here to here is a little bit different. Um, I'll show you both those rockers now so you can get a better look. So here's our good old 360. I just wanted to set these up on here and show you. I got these valve stems here. You can look at the tip of that one. See how much further it's sticking up out of there. This is more, uh, these are actually stock 360 valves that are put into these 318 heads. Um, I'll show you over here again. These NDX heads, that stem is really, really, really short. Really low in there. So here's what we're doing. I'm going to take my black magic marker. I'm going to mark. I've cleaned both these off. Brake cleaner. There it is. I'm going to mark. Mark her down. Roll these over. And there they are. So what I want to do next, and this is Ed and I were talking about this. He gave me this idea. Instead of rolling the engine over, I don't even have to do that. If I can take just like that and slide it. And I'm going to do both of them. Sure that shaft's down. So here's my old rocker that I was I set set up on the three uh, the 408, and here's the one I used to run on that 408. So I'm going to just side to side here. Obviously the shims are out of here, so that I could do this. Now, take a look at the difference. See, that one's almost perfectly centered. So these Magnum rockers would work great on this engine. This one is further back. It's further in because this stem is longer. Hopefully you can see that. See the difference? There we are. So what I'm going to do, I'm using these rockers on that engine. Let's set it up. Something else noteworthy worth, worth checking here is the distance between that keeper or that retainer, I'm sorry, um, and the inside of the rocker arm. See how this one's rubbing right here? It will not rub right there, and it'll let it go down. These are a little bit different diameter than what I have on the other engine. And these did not rub on the other engine previously with the same valves, same locks, same keepers. All I did was change springs. So I will double check them, but they should be pretty clear. These here are just almost about to rub in there. So something to keep in mind. There's the difference in the old and new adjusters. Like I said, I believe that's about 400 thousandths. These do not have any holes in them like the comp style does. And I'll show you that cam rocker. There's a hole just inside of there between those two stripes or two bushings. And it goes to here. And it will oil through that bottom hole there to send you oil to your push rods. So actually your push rod would be feeding through that into there to, to feed the shaft. Or if they're shaft mounted, the shaft will feed into there, push down, and lube the tip of the push rod. It's kind of neat how it works both ways. So another one, I don't see another hole here to do that one. Uh, oh, there it is. So top side. The oil would flow there and over the tip of that rocker to oil that. The other style rocker arm that I have has two holes. You should be able to see. So there's one lower there, and then there's one on the opposite side. That one runs through here and comes out there. You can see it. So whenever our adjuster screw is screwed in, if I can screw in, those nice new threads. I'll just barely screw it in so you can still see it. So the hole will 
shoot oil out and it will run down that adjuster screw, the cup of the push rod is going to end up there and it will lubricate that while it works. The other side's hole right there on the inside. There it is. That shoots out. There's a hole right behind that roller. So it's going to hit that roller and lube that roller tip where the tip hits the stem of the valve. So pretty cool to know. These, like I said, these are solid. So even if this screwed all the way down for some reason, which I don't, it shouldn't. But example, say it goes way down to there. You can still get the lock nut on with full thread engagement. The hole is not covered up. So the hole will still run down the threads of that there and land in your cup. That's all. I got my bright light here. When I drop these new push rods in, I go them in and I put them in and I feel them kind of sink. But I always look down the hole too because sometimes it can be deceiving and you think they're in, but they might be on the edge. Then you tighten up rockers and do all your business, try to turn it over and one pops loose, does whatever. So that's just something I always do is look down that. Uh, one of these for now, I'm going to try to use these other ones just to look, but It'll probably have to get the new ones. I just, like I said, if I don't have to change them, I won't. I'll just keep them in the box for a, a rainy day. There it is. Got the driver's side on. These valves are set now. I'm just going to show you. I did check the sweep pattern. It looks really good. Um, here is number five exhaust right now compressed see where that roller is exactly centered of that exhaust valve looks really good i like it uh here's number one right now you might can see it pretty nice this is much much better than the uh other set that i had on here it, maybe they're shorter or something i don't know but i did not have to use the long um, adjusters that lacks about one thread from being able to be totally level with that. So that's really nice. Uh, beyond that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this other sides off and get those set. So should be running here shortly. she lives I gotta call Mancini this is one of their made by Harlan sharp rocker arms and I inspected it before I cranked it up got a little crack there it's nice to inspect them before you use them um, but yeah I'll get some more more coming I had an extra I put on that side there but she starts from the seat. Sounds sounds a lot better. Rollers are on the stems of the valves now, so that's nice. And I think we got it solved, so I'll get my new rocker arm in and finally hit the road. So quick update right here at the end. Got that rocker arm. I got to get it mailed to Custom Speed Parts in Ohio. Uh, I tried to call Mancini. Mancini, um, they said their phone lines are down from COVID something related employees or I don't know. So I, I just Googled Harlan Sharp. They pulled up that company, Custom Speed Parts um, in Ohio. I talked to a guy named Randy Jr. Randy's great. Um, I explained, I bought these rocker arms 10 years ago from Mancini. Um, I didn't know if he'd be able to do anything with it. I didn't mention my YouTube or anything like that. I just said, you know, I've been using these rockers. They work great, but they got that little tiny crack there. And he said, that's, that's pretty uncommon. Send it to them. Um, he'll mail me one right out. No questions about it. He said they probably sold six or 8,000 sets of those rockers um, and really haven't had any issues. So 
That's awesome. I appreciate him. Y'all check them out. They sell these on Mancini. Like I said, uh, I think they're 420 a set or something now, but um, that's it. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch, catch you next time. <laughs>